everyone, it's Amy here and welcome back to my channel and happy Sunday. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys another week of Shop My Stash and what products I'm going to be using this week. So the first two things I'm going to be trying this week are some new primers that I have picked up. Um, this is one I picked up during the Sephora VIB sale which I didn't get to share with you guys because it hadn't actually came yet. So this is the Herborian Korean Skin Therapy BB Cream Oh Ginseng Korean Formula and this is like some kind of 5-in-1 um, makeup care face cream. Some kind of BB cream or face primer that I had heard about because of Makeup by Tiffany D. Swears by this and loves it and it's completely like out of stock all the time and like comes back randomly for little bits of time. So luckily it was in stock during the sale so I picked it up so I'm excited to try this. It's supposed to, let's see, even out and mattify the complexion, reduce the appearance of blemishes, refine skin texture, moisturize and plump the skin and give a non-oily velvety finish to create a perfect like finish. So I'm really excited about this. Um, I've heard really great things about it. It has really great reviews as well and it claims to do quite a bit of things. So I'm going to try that primer out and then a couple days this week I'm also going to try out the new Too Faced, well it's not new, new to me, Too Faced Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer. So I'm excited to try this out. So those will be the two primers that I'm going to be using and then as far as my foundation, um, I actually don't have it because it was like the last thing I purchased during the Sephora VIB sale, like literally like five minutes before it was ending for me. And I really wanted to try the Luminous Silk Foundation and I wasn't sure about it and everyone said like, yeah, go ahead and try it. Like I have combo to oily skin, it works great for me or try the Lasting Silk one, which of course Lasting Silk was like out of stock and all of them so I couldn't get it. So I ended up getting the small little size um, that's like 0.7 ounces maybe, something like that compared to the full size of the Luminous is silk in the lightest shade. So that's the foundation I'm going to be trying out this week. It's coming um, tomorrow, so Monday. So in the meantime, today and tomorrow, I'm going to be using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. And I did end up exchanging it for the shade 1 in 1, which was Ivory Nude, and it just kind of suits my skin tone better. So I'm going to use this one today and tomorrow, and then when I get my package, I'll use the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation Tuesday through Saturday. So those are the foundations I'm going to be using. And then as far as setting it since I am going to be using the Giorgio Armani foundation, I wanted to continue to use the Luminous Silk. Um, this is actually a powder foundation as well, but I use it just as a setting powder. I wanted to use those two together and see how it goes, but I did pick this up during the Sephora VIB sale, and oh my gosh, I love this so much. It's beautiful on the skin. It's just perfect. So I'm going to continue to use that, and then as far as my concealer this week, I'm going to be trying the Becca Ultimate Coverage Concealing Cream in the shade Banana. This is something I picked up during the Ulta 20% off sale and I haven't actually had a chance to try it. So I'm going to try the shade Banana and see how it goes. I know they do have one shade lighter, Praline, so if this doesn't work out, I will go ahead and try that, but I want to see how the formula is and everything. So I'm excited to try that. And then on, so that's for like concealing and correcting. And then for under eye brightness, I'm going to be using the Dandelion Shy Beam from Benefit. I'm going to use this underneath the eyes and kind of a little bit as a base for my highlighter. And then let's see what else. Speaking of highlighters, this week I'm going to be trying the Laura Geller Baked Highlighter in French Vanilla. Here is what it looks like. I'll swatch it really quickly for you guys. I don't know if you can even see it when it's swatched, but I'm excited to try that out because I picked up the, um, what was it, the Laura Mercier Baked Matte Highlighter in shade number one, and I love it. You guys were so right. I love it so much, so I'm curious to see how this one compares and if they're, you know, similar to each other or different or what, so I'm excited to try that. And then as far as my eyeliner this week, I'm going to be using the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea So Fine um, Liquid Pencil, so I'm going to be using this as my eyeliner, and then as far as my mascaras, oldies but goodies that I just can't stop, CoverGirl Super Sizer Mascara and Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir. And then as far as my eyes and my lips this week, I'm going to be using the new Shan XO Palette with BH Cosmetics. This was the collab I did a review on um, last week and I love it so much. So I'm going to be using this entire palette. This will be all of the eyeshadows I use for the week. And then I will be using this side for all the lip products this week as well. I do have um, these two shades right here on right now mixed together. So those are the eyes and the lips this week. So as far as my cheeks, I'm going to be using the bronzer and blush from the new Benefit Cheekathon palette. I'm going to be using the Hoola bronzer and then all the blushes within this palette this week. So I'm excited to use this because I love this palette so much. And then I also really, really love this. So I'm excited to use these two palettes this week. So I think that is everything this week that I'm going to be using on my face. 
And let me know in the comment section down below if you've ever tried any of these products and like them. And I would love to hear your thoughts on them. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I'm going to be using for Shop My Stash this week. And if you did, give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe so you can stay tuned to all my upcoming videos. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye!